If you're headed out to the Flower Show or the Phillies game tomorrow, you'll need a hat, the sunscreen, and lots of water. Kate, another scorcher on tap for us, huh? That's right, Joe. If you're going anywhere outside, pack about double what you think you'll need because tomorrow, not only is it hot, but we're talking some potentially dangerous heat with a heat advisory that has already been issued for tomorrow afternoon. Current conditions outside, it is steamy. 81 degrees right now at 11 o'clock at night in Philadelphia. That is not comfy. Not a great night for sleeping. Dew point is 64, so you can see it is relatively humid. Dew point's in the 60s. That's a pretty muggy range for us. Winds are out of the southwest at 11 miles per hour. Looking ahead overnight towards a bright sunrise tomorrow morning, it's going to be another beautiful sunny day. Likely will stay dry throughout the day tomorrow, but it's going to heat up quickly. And we're not going to have too far to go because temperatures don't really drop that far tonight. We're going to drop only to the low 70s overnight. Then, very quickly, by 10 a.m., we're in the 80s. By noon, we may be close to 90, and we usually don't hit our daytime high this time of the year. The longest days of the year headed toward the summer solstice in a couple of weeks. We hit our highs around 5 or 6 in the afternoon, so we are going to really see those temperatures ramp up through the day. Storm scan three, clear and nothing going on, and that's going to be the case tomorrow as well. Tonight, clear, warm, and muggy at 70 degrees. Winds are light out of the southwest, 70 for the low. And last weekend, we couldn't even get into the 50s barely for highs. What a change this weekend has brought. 94 tomorrow, lots of sun, hot and humid. Not only is it 94, but it's going to feel even hotter as we head into the, the bulk of the day, really, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. It's going to start feeling like 95, 96, maybe 97 degrees, and that can be dangerous with highs in the low to mid-90s. Turning very humid with feels like or heat index temperatures in the upper 90s. That means if you're going to be outside for any extended period of time, if you're exercising outside, if you're working outside, take frequent breaks, stay hydrated, get into air conditioning or at least into the shade if you have to because heat stroke or just even heat exhaustion can come up on you very, very quickly. Down the shore, that's a place to beat the heat a little bit. It's going to be hot down the shore, hot on the sand, 86 degrees, lots of sunscreen needed for tomorrow. And we are dry throughout the day tomorrow, maybe a stray shower well off to the west. Monday showers should generally stay west of here as well. Can't rule out a stray one, but it looks like Tuesday is our next best chance to pick up a thunderstorm in the forecast, and that'll cool us down a bit. So your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast, it stays hot Sunday and Monday. That's our heat wave, three days in the 90s here in early June. Pop-up thunder shower Tuesday. It's hot again Wednesday, but then we'll start to see the heat diminish by the end of next week. Shower and thunderstorm chances in the forecast each day. Doesn't look like a widespread chance each day. It will turn a little cooler, Joe. It looks like by the end of next week, we'll be at least a little bit closer to normal. We'll send it back to you. All righty, Kate. Thank you so much.